episode 13 on the shelf the series thanks for joining us today my name is mike today with me we have bradley torres brad how are we doing today hey mike thank you so very much for having me on the show uh i've assured in the past i basically uh hear every episode that you show um and in like training sessions and stuff like that it's just a blast to hear um, all the fans, you know, just sharing uh, their personal connections to superheroes and their collections, just collections in general, just uh, hearing people talk about their passion really fills me uh, with joy. Just, again, just seeing you know people what, happy. Sir? I'll drink to that. Cheers. Okay, I'll drink to that too. Cheers. <laughs> and that was my merchandising. Check out this mug, bro. That's Fantastic. So beautiful. There's more to come. And now you're part of this on the shelf family, like, uh, like our previous guest, uh, Abby, who talked about her Barbie collection. Uh, you are now part of this dysfunctional on-the-shelf family, so <laughs> welcome. More and than happy to be part of it. So, uh, first off, I'm digging the uh, the uh, wardrobe today. Oh, thank you. Wonderful. Yeah, even my, my Superman tie. Love the tie. I mean, suit. I've got the same tie, so I appreciate that. But, oh. Brad, let's, uh, since we're on the topic of you, tell the folks at home a little bit about yourself. All right. Uh, I was born and raised in Puerto Rico. That's about uh, two plane flights away from where I currently live, which is uh, Washington State. Okay. I'm happy to move here with my sister. Um, now being here, I am now in our official home. I'm able to now plaster all the all the, we dedicated a room just to our uh, like like you have all your collection stuff uh, and. Even after we moved to Washington, we were buying art all the time. We're like, okay, don't worry, we'll have a room for it. After the room's done, we still have half the art in boxes. We're like, where that? We're we gonna put this stuff. We're like, okay, we're gonna have to start. You'll find places. <laughs> It'll happen, bro. Trust me. It's all an organic process. All of a sudden, one day you'll be like, you know what? That spot would be perfect for that piece, and it goes up. It's great. So, we're here to talk about your love of Superman now. We, we met each other, obviously, through Cape Justice. We've known you for a minute. You know Luke, the uh, Luke Bug, the Geek of Steel. Again, I said yep. it in a previous episode. If I don't say the full name, I get charged. Um, <laughs> you've bought uh, several uh, pins for me. You've worn them with um, in, in front of some of the wonderful celebrities that you've met over the uh, course of the cons, which will be back, folks, by the way. I know that everyone's bummed about that stuff, but it's coming back, I promise. Fully agree. And... Um, you know, we were talking, and since the show, the, the inception of this show, I figured Brad's a freaking awesome guy. Come on the show. So here we are. So, Brad, how did you get into The Man of Steel, our boy in blue? All right. Um, so I guess I'll go with uh, the traditional story, which is ever since I was a kid, several moons ago, uh, or in a galaxy far, far away. Oh, that's Star are. Wars. Wrong, wrong <laughs> genre. Forget it. I got to go. <laughs> <laughs> Just a spaceship away. Um, ever since I was a kid, I was very into superheroes. Okay. Uh, I was very into Superman, Batman, Spider-Man, you know, a mix between DC yeah. and Marvel. Mm -hmm. uh, I did start off with uh, the Total Justice uh, action figures. Ah, uh, yes, know. yes, yes, yes. I remember them. I remember them. Very awesome. Good line. Yeah, uh, very detailed. Obviously, as a kid, there were toys, so I would use them regardless of whether detailed or not, but... As an adult, you get to find out which ones these were, and you're like, oh, yeah, those look really nice. And then I also had the Hunter Prey, uh, Superman vs. Doomsday uh, mm -hmm. action figures. And again, mm -hmm. as a kid, I just saw Superman. I would look at the suit and be like, oh, this is different, but I'm going to use them. Anyway, I got to tell you, back. bro, that's one of my favorite suits. I, I, it's, I know it was like a real like 90s suit. Like with the freaking the straps everywhere and everything, but bro, it's still one of my favorite cosplay suits. And one day, maybe God's willing, maybe I'll actually suit up with that one. Ooh! I, but I digress. But I digress. <laughs> I'm sorry. I think you would look fantastic on that. By the way, I think you would do that excellent justice. Mm -hmm. uh, no pun with the other episode. Pun that intended. Day, yeah. Pun intended. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Good one. Very good. Um, as a kid. You know, appreciate that. Uh, as a kid, just quick summary, I really love to make movies, especially with my with my younger brother. So really? all these action figures, whether it was Superman and Doomsday, like I would literally take egg cart cardboard boxes and just paint people on the sides to make it like a bus, a school bus. Awesome. And I would fight it into in our indoor garden and I would have them I would have Doomsday like bash into rocks and the Superman try to stop it and I would like mess everything with water. Anyway, it got messy. My mom was really nice about it. <laughs> uh, I would play with my brother, we would recreate the Superman movies, we would recreate the Jurassic Park movies, uh, we would recreate um, Jaws as well that we would get on our beds and anyway, it's awesome. so it just imagination is going wild as a kid. Uh, 
big influences. Um, quick recaps: uh, Ghostbusters, um, no ba- batteries not included, Short Circuit, oh. uh, which eventually made me uh, study engineering. Oh, and Back to the Future, obviously, it was a big, big uh, influence. Obviously, uh, right? I, I couldn't leave that one out. Uh, Ninja Turtles, uh, but as I grew up, uh, I started seeing. Well, I'm starting to get all these gifts and all this stuff. Uh, and I gotta have to focus on something because if I'm gonna eventually have a room, I won't have enough space for everything. In my case, yeah. Because uh, once I go big, I'm, I I want to just like focus on something. If not, I won't be able to get everything. Uh, so anyway, so bit by bit, I've been collecting stuff. Um, again, mixture between how other guests that you've had in the show have either had stuff that people gifted them yes. or stuff that they've been buying bit by bit. Correct. Um, and to lead to an earlier comment from you. Uh, one of the collections that I love the most is my pin collection. Ah, uh, bueno. Bueno, very good. <laughs> okay, so this is uh, the little uh, Clark Kent bag that came in, in one of the collector boxes. Yep, yep. Um, you obviously have the Metropolis uh, Daily, Daily Planet. Planet. Yep. Sorry, Daily Planet logo on the bottom. Very nice uh, Superman cape as the flip um, part of the bag. And I have, I'm going to focus on some of these here. So I have my Krypton uh, spaceship. Highly recommended um, for you guys to buy. A lot well, of these pins know. are from Mike. So uh, Mike's, no Mike's holding off. Mike's holding Mike, off yeah. on the pins for a little while, Brad. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw you did. Put, I, I was actually uh, looking through your stories and I noticed it said, "Oh, taking a break." But uh, if you guys do ever do have an opportunity, I mean, these are beautiful pins. Uh, obviously, Iron Giant, one of my favorite films. Um, and again, I have uh, mostly Mike's uh, or Cape Justice Jewelry and others that uh, got into the collection as well. I uh, we got this Bizarro one, uh, this Metropolis Federation one. I obviously have Luke's as oh, well. Of course. Because who made that one? Mike from Cape oh, Justice. I know. Mike from Cape Justice. <laughs> <laughs> I'll drink to that too. <laughs> um. And then I have this pop one. I have this one from uh, Thing Geek. This is actually. In Action Comics. Uh, oh, yeah, the reprint of the, co- yeah, the cover, right. Nice. Uh, on the opposite side of that strap, I have the 40 Years. I have... That was a uh, collaboration notice. with Jim Bowers from Cape Wonder that we did that 40th anniversary one. Oh, nice. Uh, this Door in the Dark, uh, Superman Blue one, which I got from you as well. I love that one. Yeah. Got this one. Got those. Christopher Reeve, obviously an amazing both actor and in a pin, he looks amazing as well. <laughs> That's all Graham Griffin. I take no credit for that one. He's a he was he's a fantastic artist. And there's the second one. Yeah, look, there's plenty there. There's all beautiful stuff. Love it. I have this one as well. Mm-hmm. I have this one. I'm not, I'm not sure if you've seen this one. Oh wow. Uh, this one's, uh, Superman vs. Hulk. That's neat. And I have, I do have two other ones. I really tried finding them. Uh, I know I have them. Uh, I still have a few more boxes. One of them's uh, Superman and um, Spider-Man back to back. Um, okay, I know, I know that. I, I know the uh, the image. Yeah, it's basically based on. I think that's uh, Jose Luis Garcia's art um, from the seventies, a comic as well. Um, Love his work. Again, Love his work. I have one of his commissions. Oh, do you? I have not seen that one. Because I know you're into commissions too, and I'll I'll, I'll go I to am. that. I am. I, I usually don't post my stuff, but I'm, I've been told I need to post more of my own collection on uh, on the on the shelf uh, Instagram page. So coming oh. soon, coming soon. I might even do a whole show on the commissions. But oh my god, this isn't about me, Brad. This is about you. <laughs> Stop changing the subject, Brad. <laughs> I appreciate it. Um, again, I, I do take this with me to all the cons, basically, and then this is basically my. Uh, ensemble. So basically, when I go to cons, uh, part of my collection is, as I showed you earlier, the tie. Yeah. Uh, I do have others on my list to buy. Uh, I do have uh, this blazer. Now that's from the Hero Within, correct? That one, the reversible yes, blazer with all of the uh, the Man of Steel symbol on the inside. Yeah, this Fancy. one has. Let's uh, see. Um, Steel. Uh, basically, Man of Steel inspired uh, emblem in the back. Yep. Um, it does have the. This is a special edition from the 80th anniversary. Mm-hmm. Uh, two years ago, I yeah, do have Tony's two. a good guy. That uh, Tony's that, that yeah. Tony's not a bad guy. He's a nice guy. Yeah, Tony. Uh, he was really nice. He gave me several minutes of his time when we met in Emerald City Comic Con two years ago when we okay. took a photo. Um, 
and then a special thanks to Leilani. She's a friend. She's the one who helped me get uh, the blazer at nice. uh, New York uh, New York Comic Con. I think it was or uh, or San Diego, um, uh, 2018. Okay. Uh, and then my wife for basically just gifting me this. So <laughs> awesome. Um, and if that wasn't obvious enough, uh, one of the things that I wanted to. It's, Here we go. it's getting a bit, it's getting a bit warm. Uh-oh. Right? As long as the pants stay on, Brad, this is a G-rated show. <laughs> there we go. Holy crap. The man put on the whole costume for me. You know what, dude? <laughs> B-Dog, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. And cheers to you again. Cheers. <laughs> Very nice. All right. Well, you know what, folks? This is our first actual cosplayer in costume on on the shelf. So. There you go. Good. Just another, for you. another first, bro. I'm a fan. <laughs> I very nice, to. very nice. Just dude. for you, Mike. Honestly, had to. I had to do the, like the shirt rip. That was so awesome. Hopefully, we get that part two coming and we see <laughs> something like that happen. Hopefully. I mean, we did see it already, but you know, just like full on. Listen, type we'll, we'll pray to the Kryptonian gods, and you know, may Rao help us that we actually get a sequel. We'll see. Oh my Rao, I hope you're right. <laughs> so, Brett, um, what other Superman goodies do you have for us? Okay, so as you can see, I had some. Let's call it swag. Um, so I have the tie and I do have, uh, cufflinks. Cufflinks. Well. Very nice. So I have this, uh, Superman emblem cufflinks, uh, the which ones. has nice. the in- yep. comic strip inside as well. Mm-hmm. And I have the second set, which is actually the uh, image. Yes, yes, yes. Big blue. And then you got your comic strip as well. So I got those. I got a little swag. This one I cannot fit as I wore the suit. Um, but this one, let me. So this is a an, an active watch. Okay. So this one actually has ah, there we are. The silver S. Very nice. Yeah, you, From Man of Steel. So, I see it. Um, but obviously, one can anybody can just change the background, right? But uh, so these these are just a few watches that I have. Um, I have my little box here, so I'm going to try. That's to okay. Them. Before they all fall out and kill us all. No, I yeah. get you. <laughs> uh, let me see. I might have to. No, I won't be able to show them all. But this one's a little like, um, okay, it's uh, like a not a dummy gift, but a gag gift. Is what gag I was gift. That's a, hey, listen, uh, it's part of the collection, yeah. brother. Gag or not, it's you know, it's it's some it's plastic. It's neat. Screw it. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah, honestly, I've used it like happily. This is a Man of Steel one. This is my sister gave to me. Nice. Uh, I have a few ones here, like these blue ones. And as you can see, some of these are just mix and match because I love going to cons. Uh, so I'm very eager. Like you said, I know it's going to happen again. I'm sure you can see that. 100% will. Too well. Yep. I know it's a bit of a glare, but it's okay. It has as long as we can't see me in, in the reflection from the reflection, we're all good to go. <laughs> Hilarious, Mike. Loving the commentary. Um, I, I, I take no credit. Usually Mystery, Mystery Science Theater has always been my inspiration for being a smartass. <laughs> so. The little robot. <laughs> that yep. was a good show. Tom Crow, right. Yep, love it. like the band uh, on that one. Yeah. It's nice to see a red band. That, that's a real nice red band on that one. Uh, I like it too. I mean, I, I like both colors. I like like the serious colors and also like the, the vivid colors so yeah, that's why of course. people ask me about what suits my favorite i'm like well i really like them all like as, as, that, as you know what though i think it's it, that's an acceptable answer because you know what it, it's like like superman has had so many suits over the years over the decades sometimes different watches call for different occasions depending on what you're wearing depending on where you're going because i i myself have probably about half a dozen superman watches as well and so i totally that's... i understand you know the, it's hard to pick a favorite sometimes like you know, it's like comic books. Sometimes it's hard to pick one fa- one comic book that's your favorite or one storyline that's your favorite. Oh, so yeah. so I, I dig what you're saying. I catch what you're throwing out there. So yeah, and I have a few comics, but I can I know in the past you've asked um, other people, like for example Luke, like hey, what would be your uh, recommendations for literature? And I can give yeah, some that's, of those. That's on that's on the list, bub. That was going to be one of my other questions, but you know it's okay to be a little clairvoyant. That's do you, um <laughs> we're going to put we're going to put uh, B Rad's uh, recommendations for Superman storylines at the end of this wonderful show. So that's that's that we that's coming on. So what else you got there, bud? What's in your hands? Sounds like a beautiful thing. So I would say so out of all the watches, this oh would be yeah. Favorite. So Victor I had to be some nice watches. 
a, a naughty boy and I had to buy this one. I mean, obviously, uh, my wife gifted it to me as well. The same at the same time as the the blazer, but um, Oof, that's this one of the I like inventions. That. Yeah, and they actually released a few more um, recently, and they're actually really good prices. Uh, yeah. Like, prices than when we bought this one. Um, and I'm really tempted with at least one or two of them. But again, I'm trying to control myself because I'm not all just like... I know, you'll go back. crazy. I know, then all of a sudden you own every Superman watch there is, and you're living in a cardboard box. <laughs> I get it. I totally get the it. Fortress of Solitude. <laughs> oh, it'll definitely be Solitude because your wife ain't going to come with you. <laughs> so all right so you have the watches we'll have space, we'll have space. you can be my neighbor we'll just have be adjacent to each other <laughs> so you have the watches you have the pins which i appreciate that as part of your collection um i know that uh you had sent me a, a bunch of pictures of some of your collection and one of them was you've uh you've had jim lee sign some of your funko pops uh yes great memory so um this one right here uh, this was a Jim Lee version Funko Pop that was released, um, and I had. There's a couple uh, Jim, signatures on that. What's that? There's a couple signatures yeah. on that. Yeah. Yeah, there is. So uh, in the front is Jim Lee's, um, and then on the sides I have Alex Sinclair, which is the colorist for yeah. this same art, uh, and then I have Scott Williams on this side, um, who basically is the anchor for this art. Yeah. So awesome. All all three of them signed a Funko Pop. I'm very, very happy uh, with this. I went just right place, right time type of deal. They were released. This was released just, a few, I think, a few days, if not a week, before really? uh, they stopped the fire show. Yeah. Where, what, show, what show was that? Uh, this one was SummerCon. SummerCon. So Washington State SummerCon. Yeah, they, they rebranded. Um, they were touring Geek Fair okay. uh, a couple of years ago, and then I think that was the first time they rebranded to uh, Washington State Summer Con. And they brought Jim Lee, they brought Alex Sinclair, who, again, they were all am amazing. Alex really dedicated a lot of his time with me, and he was very down to earth. Again, if you ever do have time either to check out his art or anything, I uh, recommend that. Again, he's very down to earth. Um, he did have a Superman cap that day, so I complimented him on that too. Um, in addition to that pop, I had I have this one from Brandon Routh. Uh, he did sign this one too. I thought so. You know what, bro? I thought you did because I gotta tell you, he wrote best. Oh, I knew it. That's Brandon's freaking thing. Because I got a I got a signature from him on my wall. Same thing. Best. I'm like best what? Ooh. Okay, best. Mm. <laughs> and then Jim Lee wrote the same thing. Jim Lee has best on his thing too, right? Oh, that's true. I guess I don't know. Maybe they best. go to auto signing class. So, someone know. someone right now is like, yeah. the Best. That's what you're right. I mean, best wishes, <laughs> best regards. Like I guess that's just like shorthand for uh, best friend. Best friends. Oh, <laughs> yeah. now you're best friends with Jimmy, Jim Lee, and Brandon Routh. Who the hell knew? Right. <laughs> Look at you. No, and I gave him no, and you obviously have been good friends with him too, right? Did he did he sign your cape? Is that what he signed as well? Yeah, Brandon signed. Uh, Brandon signed signed my cape. Um, a while back. Yeah, that... yeah, he did. He did. He signed it. I met him when I met him and Dean Kane Um, at a show in Philly many moons ago. Um, oh, they. My... He, Brandon, and Dean both signed my cape. Wow, that cape is amazing, by the way. Like that's just like frame worthy. Yeah, when I used to um, say anyway, bring it to shows, people used to ask me if it was for sale. It's not for sale. <laughs> Never. <laughs> How dare they? <laughs> Jerks. <laughs> Everyone wants it. It's so cool. I got to bring that cape back when the shows start back up. When cons start back up, I'll wind up bringing it back to shows with me, just so I could start, uh, you know, filling it back up because I got some good ones on there. So. If you ever do visit Washington State, I'd be more than willing to do a duo uh, cosplay team up. Well, so you can walk on a girl we, for that. My friend, I have many, many years ahead of me in this, uh, you this, do. this world. So even if I go as press and I wind up going in costume, we'll see what happens. So, nice. all right. Funko Pops, um, watches, yeah, pins. I got uh, uh, this Ah, yeah. One. I got this. Yep. I know where you got that one from. <laughs> yeah, this one's really nice. Um, just taking it out of the box here. So, people don't know about it. They came out, which was like freaking ten, maybe ten years ago or or longer. But there was DC. There was DC One Million. All right, it came out. It was supposed to be in the far flung future of the DC of the DC world, and there was like Superman's descendants, descendant, 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 and. The original Superman was still alive and living in the freaking sun. And that is the incarnation. This is like, I, people have called him like Superman God. I've heard all of these, yeah. but this isn't freaking Dragon Ball Z. You can't call Superman God. <laughs> That's Superman, Superman God. 
So, yeah, no, he's not into that either. He just he's, he's not. He's totally not. So, um, but this was this was done by Fortress of Pops, and yeah. um, I have the same one right off camera. You know what? I'm gonna bust him out because. Oh yeah! Same. There we go. Like we're twinsies. Eee. So, nice. um, great work by Fortress of Pops, by the way. Love their stuff. They always do some awesome custom work. They did uh, the Kryptonian villains uh, from Superman movies, from the Richard Donner, Christopher Reeve Superman movies. Fantastic work. Um, hopefully they, they decide to sell them or at some point or at least release them, you know. Or, I mean, or Funko could do them, and that would be pretty awesome. But oh Yeah, I've, I've been talking to the Fortress of Pops cape every time. I'm like, hey, are you going to sell that? Hey, are you going to sell that? But, um, you know, he's... He's been oh, oh maybe I will maybe I don't I'm, I'm looking into that Superman with the hammer uh, that Marvel the, crossover right 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 where he's got Thor's hammer and he's holding Cap shield yeah I feel you I feel you so what would you say um oh boy haha <laughs> that's Sorry. a neat Wonder Woman oh wow yeah, so why are they why are they all uh, why are they all bedazzled out bro who did that uh, so this was a little project between my wife and myself. We actually did a, like a his and hers type of, so these are actually Swarovski. Uh, really? Um, They're Swarovski crystals, huh? Yeah. Wow. So, Holy underwear. Okay. That's awesome. You guys <laughs> did a underwear. great job. <laughs> well, we tried. It took a while. Yeah, I bet. Uh, wow. Holy crap. You guys did yeah. a great job. Yeah. I mean, we, I've been meaning to actually post this for a while. So it's oh. sneak peek. Through, Surprise. Through your... <laughs> 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 Bonus. <laughs> well, I'm just, I just keep showing you stuff, and I well, I feel like it'll never end. Well, it it probably would never end, but I'm going, but um, and we could post a bunch of this stuff on um my the Instagram page, especially when we do promo for this uh this episode. But um, I'm going to um hit the left blinker for a second, and we're gonna I'm gonna ask you um, considering your collection is is quite eclectic and it's it's very impressive. What would you say if if you had the opportunity um. Money was unlimited. Uh, time travel was a thing. It probably is a thing, but um, the government's not letting us do it. But and you were able to. And you there was one item, uh, your holy grail item, your grail, your grail piece. What what would your grail piece be? So I've been thinking about this for quite some time. Okay, and I am between two specific items. Um, the obvious one would be obviously Action Commons number one. Having that I would have a time machine, I would not mind going back and forth and getting signatures from every Superman actor and having them potentially sign. And obviously having, having obviously uh, Jerry Siegel and Joe Schuster uh, signing that as well. I was in between that and the, and the as much as I love, love the Christopher Reeve suit, uh, as I shared with you, 2013 was uh, very big for me, which is actually something really beautiful because I match it to uh, this episode. Episode number. 13. Just, wow, episode it's kismet, brother. <laughs> so, um, for those who don't know, Action Comics number one uh, was based on 13 pages. So I, I'm actually really ecstatic that this is happening. And then 2013 is actually when I wore this suit for the first time. Uh, first, first time I ever cosplayed. That's where I met my wife. That's where I met wow. my my best friend. Wow. Uh, became one of my groomsmen. Uh, my brother and I did a uh, first cosplay together. He was uh, Jimmy Olsen. Um, so the other item I was considering was Henry Cavill's Man of Steel suit. Was the other thing I was considering. All right, so that's okay. Oh, those are two very um, Grail-worthy items. So I, I, uh, I think the uh, the Superman gods would definitely appreciate that. <laughs> um, so would you say? So who would you say then? Would you say Henry is your favorite Superman? I know it's he a is, tough one. He's a great current Superman. Um, Brandon did an amazing job. As Superman and Clark, um, and I'm also in between, like Christopher Reeve. Obviously, like him to me, like I would always watch Superman. I just felt so connected um, when I was as a kid. Like I would watch any other superhero, and that's fine. But Christopher Reeve always like lured me back into his screen, and I, I would always see him be just so selfless with everything he did. Yeah. Just, and I think Henry can be is heading towards that direction if he's given the equal chance at a at a script that lets him open up more as both Clark and Superman. So, uh, again, as cliche as it sounds, no, it's never uh, cliche. It's never cliche, bro. We're all fans. So like, there's no such thing as if, if you, you know, I, I've heard everything from George, George Reeves, Reeves, Reeve with the S. Cause people always get the confused. It's Christopher Reeve and George Reeves. Um, 
Dean Kane. Everyone has a favorite. It's like it's like a, it's like to, to completely shift gears. It's like Doctor Who. Everyone has a favorite doctor. Somebody who who uh, you know they they you know consider themselves to be like you know or just they like the storylines or their personality. So you know it's it's whether you like Henry, whether you like you know um, even Tim Daly's Superman. Whether you, it doesn't matter who you know, everyone has a favorite or multiple favorites. Kind of is what it is. You know what I mean. Yeah, the um, important thing is, I think it's to just, to me, as long as you put the suit, respect the suit, and help inspire others. Like, I know I've sent you a few photos of some charity work I've yes, done. Yes, yeah, I, I saw it. You, um, there was a hospital in there, I think? Yeah, there was a hospital, 5K, yeah. uh, fundraising events, um, and some photos that I it, couldn't even take because we, we couldn't, like, we were in orphanages and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, they don't usually, they usually frown on stuff like that. Usually a lot of the hospitals I go into, they don't, uh, they don't want to take pictures with the kids, which it's Correct. not done. No, and, and, and as you know, it's not done for photo ops. It's done because, exactly. I mean, when you wear the S, it, it, again, now it's my turn to sound cliche and, and, and whatever, but when you wear the S or when you, like, you know, are a fan of the S, I don't want to say you're held to a higher standard, but you, 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 there are certain things that you, um, believe in and want to believe in like the, the, you know, the, the betterment for mankind and, and, you know, and, and being a better person and trying to bring out, you know, the better parts of other people's natures and everything else and, and inspire people. That's what anyone who's put on the S has, has done. Most, I, I don't think any of them did it for a paycheck. You know what I mean? Like, I don't yep. think that D, that that Dean Cain or, or or Henry were like, you know, uh, I'm gonna get a couple million out of this. Let me, you know, let me go throw, let me throw the suit on. They did it. Like, I mean, Henry's a good person. Brandon's a good person. Christopher Reeve was a very good person. Like, there's a lot of good behind it. And and I always appreciate when people who are fans of the S and followers of the S and and you know whoever they do good things, you know, because of what they believe in. I agree. So um, I'm going to ask you a question now. Again, I'm, I'm good. This is this is why I should start wearing a captain's hat because sometimes it's like it's like you're driving the boat. So um, I'm going to ask you a question that I've asked now 12 people, including myself. If you had one shelf in your brand new house, and it's it's a hypothetical theoretical shelf, it could be as big or as small as you want, um, be as heavy as you want, it doesn't matter. And you're only allowed to have three items from your collection in that room or on that shelf. What would those three items be? All right. So similar to the Grail question, I've given this one a lot of heavy thought. Um, but the first item I would put would be uh, definitely the suit that I'm wearing right now. Okay. Um, one of the reasons why is, as I shared, 2013, big year for me. Mm -hmm. uh, again, not with the intention of doing like, oh, this is going to be a year yeah. or whatever. It's just, it just happened. Yeah. Uh, so this year, this suit I actually made with my mother. Uh, Did you as, really? Yeah. Oh, boy. Uh, look at you in the throwbacks. But just like Ma Kent making the, the, the burn era. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So uh, the only thing that we didn't do, I actually had an older S. Uh, and one of the photos I sent you is actually that one was completely handmade. The only thing I had back then with my mom was like two or three pictures of like Henry and then a, a trailer. And that was basically it. And then we we're like, no, the suit's beautiful. Like, I just have to make it. Um, so this suit was actually retrofitted to match the more current um, actually Chazam cameo because it has. Uh, oh, like it's the got the red. Yeah, look at that. I see it. See that's why um, in the in the picture the uh, the picture with uh, with Zachary you exactly. you have the lunch tray. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> and my pins are in there, but that's a different story. He loved he he loved the suit and he loved the pin. Yeah, Zach. So, Zach's uh, a great guy. Zach's a great guy. He's I've met him. A bunch of people I know have met him. He's he is another uh, bastion of positivity. Fully agree. Um, so this suit again is where I met my wife. Uh, suit. A lot of a lot of best friends uh, who are, who I'm with together. So again, this means volumes to me. Uh, second item would be this one I have here handy. Um, uh, so this yes. is a, uh, a statue of Superman and Wonder Woman. Again, Jim Lee. Uh, I have I had him sign uh, this one as well. Oops. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't have it upside down. No, you but don't. Jim Lee and uh, Alex and Claire. Um, and I do have, like you mentioned, I have the comics and the variants for. Uh, that Justice League uh, 
comic signed by them as well. Uh, but that's so that that's just is... for those who don't know, because there's some there may be some who are like, oh, Wonder Woman and Superman never got together. In in the new Fifty Two line, which came out, I think it was two thousand twelve. Um, they they basically revamped, they rebooted everything. Was it two thousand? I have to look that up. But um, they rebooted everything, and um, they made Superman and wonder woman an item even if it wasn't for a long time um they did have uh, a romantic um interest there was a relationship for a while and um eventually it, it you know it was something that was teased about and and that, that people had um wondered for for many years even in the, in the previous the modern age run and so i guess that's why they kind of did it and so it lasted a little while but that statue is is i know they did that one and then there was a, a, a christmas there was a holiday version of that oh, one you got yeah, right. it had like, a, uh, oh my god, the... The mistletoe, I it think. It had the rose. Oh, the uh, rose. Like that's a what... mistletoe or a rose at the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah I knew it was something. So <laughs> no, that's a good one. And yeah. signed. And signed. And I think I think you did send me pictures of that getting signed as well. Yeah. Yeah, and that one has uh, the, the Varian comics being signed mm -hmm. uh, by them as well. Um, so awesome. yeah, I have those on the wall. Again, I'll try to send you a picture of all the commissions because I know I wasn't able to show you uh, all of them. Cause I got yeah, it's all right. It's all right. We, it's a... Guy. Yeah, got that guy. Got that guy. That's some nice work. That guy. Oh, the, the one thousand blanks. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I had Lovely. to. Lovely. Lovely. Had to. Matt Haley drew this one. Wow. So Beautiful anyway, stuff. yeah, I want to see. Yeah, we'll, we'll uh, snap some pictures of those so I can really show them off better detail. It's beautiful. Oof. So that's two, right? That was two, right? The suit, the suit, yeah, and the statue. What you got? And then the last one I would say is this one. Hopefully you don't get too much of a glare. Eh, even if we do, um, we can still put it back in. So this one's actually, as you mentioned, New 52. Uh, this was an impromptu farewell gift. Uh, when they did my farewell back home, when I moved from Puerto Rico to over here, um, a lot of our friends, uh, special thanks to Meli and her uh, husband, Omar, uh, they actually printed this. Um, and they used this as a goodbye gift where everybody wrote their wishes. Ah, oh, that's lovely. I um, always love stuff here. like that. Yeah, so when uh, this is yeah. all of love it. Handwritten messages here. Um, and and it's a good and it's a good uh, scene too. They picked a great scene. Yeah, this is what got to me. That yep. quote right there. Yep. Awesome. Again, we had to leave, so that's when she got this. Like, there were a lot of tears in that room uh, that day. Um, again, not not necessarily for the bad, uh, no. it's more for the better. You know, we of course. see each other. Um, of but then, what's what's fun about this is that I got it signed by uh, Charles Soule, who was the writer for New Fifty Two. Um, I also got it signed by Bat Manning, who was uh, the anchor. And the person who I have pending, which is one of the arts that you got to find in your uh, Henry Cavill scavenger hunt, was uh, Tony Daniel. Yep. So I'm really eager to have Tony sign this one. Yep. Um, so that, and I have a bunch of other art. My thing in cons is just go around with all my comics, Good. get them signed. I have a few signed by uh, Neil Adams, Adam Hughes. Like, I have this one, uh, Kryptonite Nevermore, signed mm -hmm. by mm -hmm. Adams. Again, I, I could go <laughs> for a while, but this is just a this stack be part, of It'll be part two of the. Uh, we'll we'll do part two at one point. So, when was the last time you spoke to your uh, to your to your friends and family in Puerto Rico? Oh yes, that few minutes before we started recording. <laughs> 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 oh, that's good. Hey, listen, you know, some family, no matter wh whether it's it's bl family by blood or family by you know things like this, like cons and stuff, and comics and, and love of superheroes, you know, y you find that. Um, the the bonds are tight. The bonds can be very tight, and it's it's awesome. It's awesome that despite the distance, and that goes even for for you know across the seas with with friends or across borders or whatever. It doesn't matter, you know, gender, ethnicity, whatever. You know, there's there's always a common ground that you know we always wind up finding, and especially with stuff like this. And there's always you know it's always a good time when I get to speak to people such as yourself. And the other guests that I've had and people, you know, through Cape Justice and everything else about, you know, superhero stuff and, and positivity and everything else. So, you know, I really, Brad, I want to thank you for coming on the show. Um, it's been a pleasure. It's, it's, fi it's finally nice to actually have a face-to-face -face conversation with you. Um, 
<laughs> Phoenix Neutral. Yeah, besides uh, DC fandom, but you know we were focused on. Yeah, that on doesn't event, really count. But... I was too busy making smartest comments during the entire Zoom thing, so that doesn't really count. So, but this hey, is, it's nice that this is that this is like you know this is how we, this is how I like to connect with people. You know what I mean? It, it, it's good, and now you and I get to connect with all the folks who are watching this. So, very good. And folks, listen, thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. It's always a pleasure, and um, I say it, I use the A word a lot. I appreciate everybody watching, subscribing, spreading the word. It's a fantastic thing. If you haven't done so already, subscribe. It's right down there, right down there. Just do it once. Just have to hit it, small button. Plus, if you have a collection, doesn't matter if it's Superman stuff, Batman, Spider-Man, Hulk, records, currency, whatever you have, drop me a line. I'd love to have you on the show so we can connect like Bradley here and I are. Have a great one. We'll talk soon. Thanks, Mike. Thank you, everybody. Subscribe. <laughs>